the High Sierra Music Festival. We've got so much great music coming at you this Sunday afternoon, the 4th of July, 1993. Where would you rather be than here on the 4th of July, huh? I'd like to thank the promoters, Roy Carter, Jim Stern, uh, Enda Brennan, all you guys. Thank you for having us. We're tuned to 89.7 FM, Metal Marmot Radio. A few announcements that have been piling up, including we want to wish a happy birthday to Weller Wakefield out there. Also, uh, there's a lost turquoise necklace. Have a Coke! No, sir. Well, these two guys. Well, mainly the guy on spoons. Oh, really? Yeah, it's like totally cool. Oh, when I was much younger, and I was on my roll, I get my life away in pieces like it was out of my control. Illusions of reality, how they whisper in a double talk. Oh, but this time I'm making my move, I don't know which way to walk. And more than anything else in the world, anything else in the world, and more than anything else in the world, I can't let you down. I can't let you down. Page, an artist, the Spoon Man. All right, we also want to let you know that the uh, the programs have been reduced. A special Fourth of July bargain sale now only one dollar. From the stage of the High Sierra Music Festival, it's Pele Juju.
Man, what paradise, paradise up here in Bear Valley. Oh, howdy. Watch. Listening to Boogie 9.5, the Grizzly on your magical radio. We're here live and in person at High Sierra Music Festival. The Gorge! member of the band were an animal, which animal would you be? I, I think I'm kind of a badger, because I'm tenacious and very mean, but I'm not too big. But don't get me in a corner. How's that? Keith, what about your past as a tyrannosaur? Who wants to see Keith do his T-Rex imitation from Jurassic Park? Yeah, me too. I love this. I kind of like that.
When I hear your name, start to shake inside. When I see you stroll, I lose my self control. That's what love will do for you. That's what love will, That's what love will make you do. Whatever you need, there's no limit to what I can do. Work it this up quick, and I'll give it all to you. That's what love will do for you. That's what love will make you do. No matter what I did, baby, I'm still in love with you. Give me some of that funky banjo. When it comes to making love, oh, be your thing. Don't wanna talk about you too much. Give others ideas. Try not to express myself. Cause feel it's the way I feel. That's what love will do for you. That's what love will make you do. Great hoop off of the Strict Cheese Incident Hula Hoop, Hula Hooping Clinic. Denise Poole, are you a kid, are you a child?
Kyrie or Kyrie, what is it? Kyrie is back here hanging out with the band. You better go get her. Right, because you know, you know, don't want us to influence her. You don't want her hanging around with the band. You don't want that child to go down the wrong road now, baby. I had some great teachers. Uh, there's a, I started playing guitar actually a lot younger, but it never really caught on with me. I, I would play it, but I, I wouldn't really practice. And um, but when I got the, my first banjo, it changed. I got real intense about it, and started looking for a teacher after a few, maybe a month or so, of playing. And I met a guy named Eric. No, um, uh, yeah, Eric Darling, Eric Darling. And uh, he used to play with a, a folk group called the Weavers. In fact, he took Pete Seeger's place in the Weavers after Pete Seeger left. And so he started teaching me sort of folk banjo. He sort of took me from the thumb in out roll to other roles and the forward backward roll to playing songs and picking out melodies. And uh, then he sort of ran out of stuff to show me because I was just sort of really voracious. He sent me to a guy named Mark Horowitz who uh, lived all the way out in Brooklyn. It was about an hour and something train ride for me to get there uh, and I'd go out and he would just load me down with tapes and eventually I started hearing about this guy Tony Trishka and um, and I started asking him to teach me Tony Trishka's stuff which he knew a little bit of and it got to a point where Mark was having to learn Tony Trishka's stuff all week uh, just to to teach it to me at the end of the week eventually he just said listen Tony Trishka lives in the Bronx and uh, Here's his number. Thanks a lot, everybody. Let's hear a big thank you for Bay Lafayette.
time for Sector 9! Folks, I don't know about you, but I don't think you can beat the High Sierra Festival. I'm not about it.
One, two, three, and good morning, good morning. How are you? How are you? Very well, I thank you. Very well, I thank you. Let's begin. Let's begin. Right, that's good morning song one. <laughs> right. Serve your I like one. your bass, Kyle. <laughs> that is way cool. I made it for 29 there bucks. <laughs> cool. no, no. Rad's acoustic 7295. There it is. I put it back in the box. <laughs> After all that. After all that. Hey, I, I found it. Oh, shit. Right where it belongs. Yep. Okay. I'm glad you found it. <laughs> glad you found it. All I was going to do was play it. So. Now we could let A Rad be offline. I started out many years ago with this festival at Leland Meadows, on to Bear Valley, and now here. 2000 High Sierra, Quincy. How is everybody? Thanks to High Sierra for bringing us out here. Yeah, how about for Rebecca, Dave, and Roy to put this thing on? Woo. Rebecca, come in for Dave. <laughs>
Sam Bush and Yorma Kalkinen. Give him a hand. How was that? It was fabulous. Fuck. I love it when the highlights happen here. Can I get a smoothie? I want a certain kind. Uh, do you guys have any protein powder? Yeah. I'll have the apple one. So then I got uh, two tarps left. Y'all want to get up, go over there, and shake your booty with the parade? Please do. That's what it's all about. That's what High Sierra is all about. Being yourself, being free to be the person that you are. So go parade. Go get happy.
performing various liposucks and tummy tucks, the Ginsu Knives of Bluegrass, Psychograss! Here. The whole combination just makes a good flavor, you know, for high syrup. I'm gonna turn it down a little bit. I think I'm maybe a little bit too loud. So, who's your favorite band of the festival, William? Um, George Bush. George, <laughs> George Porter? No, George Bush. That song of it. George Bush? Yeah, the song. Oh, there's a George Bush song? Yeah. Who sang the song? Um, I don't remember. That's <laughs> kind of disappointing that uh, my daughter said something like that.
world out there. Thank you very much, y'all. Thank you.
Johnny Vidakovich. You can't beat him for a New Orleans drummer. My favorite Jerry tune? You're talking about Jerry Douglas, right? So we want to celebrate Independence Day with you. Instead of like trying to get into this really patriotic fervor, we're hoping at some point today, probably later tonight, to really gather everyone and take a moment of silence to really go deep within and really appreciate the peace that we have within us and that we can share with the world. Ruffins and the barbecue swingers all aboard!
strutting with a little barbecue. Said I'm strutting with some barbecue and swinging out in style. Thank you, music lovers. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. I think that the people they had on last year better than this year. You like last year's festival sure. better than this year? Well, the Take a kid that, picture like, me. Played. Take a picture me. Anderson and our band make a scream.
world-renowned Los Lobos. I was told the Smother Brothers were going to be here. <laughs> Up in your tone apart. I see an ever kind of ring that's ever been made. <laughs> Driven the back road. So I would get that you slap that frabbing. I drove the back roads on the Mary Receive on a golf cart early in the morning at the High Sierra Festival so I wouldn't get waved. Thanks, 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 Vince. Thank you. I'm being serious here, man. That's, this is hurts, man. I was bragging yesterday about how much sleep I got the night before. I thought that six and a half hours really gave me the, uh, the advantage. I'm, uh, I'm back in the hole. I'm just really grateful that for one weekend a year, I get to feel like a successful musician. I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take it. You don't know how many nights out there on the road and God knows where that I just remind myself that you guys exist. <laughs> if you can just hold on till July. I don't know. You see me, huh? Like Les Claypool is in here. Oh, Les Claypool. Was it, he was here last year or the year before? Last year. year. Is he your all-time favorite High Sierra artist? I don't know, man. I'd say maybe the Grateful Dead, too. Wait, they never played High Sierra. They did, didn't they? No. Oh. <laughs> We've got a band here all the way from Vermont. It is their first tour. Please welcome Grace Potter and the Nocturnals.
I was loving you, Brother Lou. This is a real nice festival. It's always good to see everyone out here and be able to talk to so many people. I've seen about 500 people that I know, some people that I don't know. Folks, remember that the festival is not officially over until the um, drunken banjo player is woken up in his tent. Festival. I've said enough.
Thank you. Have a great day. Let's hear it for Railroad Earth. Oh, come on. A little louder than that, y'all. Happy Fourth of July from High Sierra 2006. Okay, really good. Happy High Sierra! <laughs> Um, everybody fill out this Chet Helms pe petition and drop it in the box where it was yesterday. Maybe you could take it around. So a lot of your Bay Area favorite musicians are gathering to join in a play shop, the High Sierra Gramble. <laughs>
Nikki Bloom. How you feeling? All the people in the back, how you feeling out there? People up in the stands, how you feeling over there? All the people down here, how you feeling? It's nice to be out here in nature. Times we don't even, I mean, the set list now it gets played. Exactly. <laughs> That's the night you're looking for. Throw the song list away. Let's jam. <laughs> is, is there ever? Gee, I thought maybe it was going to be that song, or I thought it'd be that song. There's just so many songs that whatever. Yeah. It gets sometimes the right it groove. could be that song. Yeah. You have to yeah, wait. Yeah, because a lot of times they don't get done the same way twice. So, right. you know, you might be thinking you're doing something, and then when the singing comes in, you find out. <laughs>
all along what dirt is so cool, so beautiful, and so dead. Let her go, let her go, may God bless her. Wherever she might be, I will say this whole world is so well known. I'll never find another so. drums, Mr. Frank Bua. On the bass, Reggie Scanlon. On the guitar, Camille Baudouin. Guitar and vocals, Dave Malone. And on the 88s, Zeke Fishhead, Ed Volker. How about it for the radiators, y'all? You know, we wouldn't, be, we wouldn't, we wouldn't have gotten to 20 without these guys. Okay? These guys are one of the cornerstones of High Sierra. The roots run deep for the radiators. 
High Sierra is a good time and an all-around good festival. So you know how it is, we only have like 25 minutes. All right, here we go. This song is called The Monkey in the Middle.
right. We just taught that to Daria while you were learning it, too. <laughs> she did a great job. I'm Lebo, by the way. Steve Adams on the bass. Do you like the music festival? The music festival has been a lot more than I expected it to be. It's way over the top. Steve Winwood. so lucky that every year I get to say, oh my God, it was better than last year and mean it. Jesus. Thanks everyone for being so fun, so colorful, so bright and beautiful. Let's give a huge shout to Mark Van, who is not with us. Everman Mule.
So there you have it, folks. Highlight of the weekend, string cheese incident. During the day, two o'clock, on the main stage, water guns everywhere, girls getting wet. My favorite thing that I ate They're this weekend was definitely the grilled salmon. That was really good. The grilled salmon at the Caribbean booth. We have to say that it was a large success this year. We had a wonderful camp spot. We had an incredible lineup. We had VIP tickets. We had all our friends here, and it was the best High Sierra ever. It's like they started on this side of this envelope and wrote down all the songs they wanted to play over the two nights. Really? The highlight for me was, I think, last night, that sunset and how the sky kept changing color back and forth. I don't know if it was stage lights. Whoa. <laughs> I had a great festival. Saw all my old friends. Everybody's here. Uh, my highlight might have been getting into leftover salmon late night tent for free. The best, best part of the favoriteest thing was staying up all super night with Elizabeth, and it was her first time she ever stayed up all night, and we played kickball, and we had tons of fun. I don't know if it's like this for everybody, but for me, the High Sierra is like a big roller coaster. Wah, 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 wah. Yeah. Then a little mid zone, wah, yeah, wah. wah. Yeah. High Sierra is my favorite festival because of the music and the great people. <laughs> the great people that come here. It's a party atmosphere. Everybody loves the whole thing. Yep. The music was pretty good though. Carolina chocolate drops were outstanding. Cornmeal was on fire. The festival went very smooth. Really oh, I had a fantastic time. My highlights were the rads, of course. Of course. In 2010, this year, I was really psyched because my two favorite bands, the Radiators and the Mother Hips, were both playing plenty of sets. 20 years of high Sierra, that's just badass. I wish I could have been to all of them. My highlight was sneaking in the pool. Oh, sneaking in the pool. Cool. High Sierra, 20 years. Um, Another great year, good times, lots of dancing, sore feet. A uh, little sentimental this year because it's so beautiful and I've done so much of my growing up here. It'd be funny if festivals were like unemployment, we could all get a three day extension. <laughs> <laughs> no. We appreciate your business and hope to see you back next year. Hi Sierra, 20 years. It's been something else. It's been a fantastic ride and I've been loving it every second. And I just, I just gotta say thanks to everyone who might see this. The festival was fantastic. Bum, 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 bum. It's a very big world for such a little boy. Mercy Mary, scared of shadow, shows you to a chair. And dawns a morning spun from golden, something sweet and pure. As light comes and dances in her hair. These lines of strange new thought meander the mazes of your mind. And as you wonder, they wander in freely, come and go. She shakes the sour angel dry and throws another and pretty soon there's not one thing you know. Welcome to the real world where you and I were born. 
even when you're sleeping, you're And in the trees you see the same promises Sunday morning made. And the moon's the smiling fool of the lake. And all is simply splendid, the shadows, the shade. All great things just happen by mistake. You follow the fooly bear across the ballroom floor. And the band is playing hazy as you make it to the door. And just outside an island for what you cannot ask for. It's easy to be. You can see we've never been high. Welcome to the real world Where you and I were born and Even when you're sleeping You're dreaming a slight step to the side and it's another room I find sometimes walking backwards gets you there I wonder what that caterpillar thinks a butterfly is where they tumble through the air it's a very big world for such a little boy and pretty soon you'll see her far and wide cause without you Flowers just a dumb flower. All that pretty comes from inside. Welcome to the real where you and I were born. Even when you're sleeping, you're dreaming. You're dreaming. Bum, bum, bum.